get this thing started. That sounds so good. What is up, everyone? It is Vic T with Vic's Vet Vlog, and today we are going to be installing. the front strut covers in our 2023 C8. So I'm not gonna drag a lot of this on too long. I am going to try to make the video a little bit shorter today, try to just get to the heart of the install. So let's start by opening the trunk. There you go, nice and simple. All right guys, so what we have to do real quick, we're gonna have to remove this piece that goes right back there this big center piece right here and uh, this piece on this side so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take a minute i'm gonna take this car apart and we'll be back all right guys that was extremely easy to do so i will real quick just review so these pieces are the side there's one two three clips and then one in the back. So four clips on each of the side panels. This one has the same four clips. One, two, three, and four. So pretty simple. The big piece here has five clips. There's one, two, three. That's the hard one. So basically when you do that, you're gonna go under this, stick your hand in the opening here, and just pop up from there. So that was pretty simple to do. There's the other clip back there. So, yeah, like I said, guys, that this that was extremely easy to get apart. So, we'll take a quick look. And there's your front strut. Now, mine, being I live in Vegas, and I've only washed a car once, and it hasn't rained on the vet yet, you could see it looks really clean in there, and it's all completely dry. So, I'm going to do two things. I'll show you the other side real quick. There's no water in the driver's side. And looking at the passenger side, it looks completely dry as well. So now, as you guys know, the water does run right behind this, which is why the driver's side usually gets more water in it. So we're gonna do two things. We're gonna get the radiator, uh, the radiator. We're gonna get the strut tower covers put on which sit on top of this. I did get the ones for the mag ride because this car does have mag ride. We're also going to try to make something that we could put attached to here, maybe about this height. So if the water does run through here, it kind of diverts it off to the side instead of diverting it onto this panel right here where sorry guys, where it does leak down onto this, which is how it ultimately gets into all of these so all right guys we're gonna wrap it up right there we're gonna take out the strut covers we're gonna get one side done at a time basically this side you only need to take this nut out I believe it's 10 millimeter and this this is the hardest part of this entire job getting this done so I do have some panel pulling tools so we will pop that out and on this side it's a really tight fit between there and this. So a lot of time what happens, this guys is for the front lift. You can see it's got the front lift on it. So my car does have front lift. Uh, when you do it, a lot of time, it might be easier to just take this off and then install it. I'm gonna try to do it without taking it off. This little rubber grommet here is essentially what we could slide over a little bit maybe to tie the strut cover to this. Uh, if I could slide it and it doesn't look like this moves too much. So we're gonna get this started. And we'll do one side at a time and then we'll come back and we'll show you what it looks like. All right guys, just a quick update. I did get that bolt off. It's right there, sitting there. There's your back piece. These are the two pieces I used. This to initially get behind it so I didn't break anything. This plastic one to get it fully pulled out since it has a little more leverage so all right guys we're going to strap that strut cover down we'll be back all right guys we did go ahead and open up the strut covers so 
These strut covers are from c8strutcovers.com. I will put that link in the description. Basically, it says if ABS fluid hits this, it could weaken the plastic over time. So we're going to try to not let that happen, especially if we do take that cap off for the front lift. So pretty simple. It's self-explanatory. You'll know that's either for the screw or the zip tie. There's the other one, and there's the zip tie that comes in it. So you can tell which is which, because if you put this on the passenger side, you'll see the screw is in the back. So you'll know this is for the driver side. Pretty simple. This is the passenger side. Like I said, this is the one you guys could see. It is super tight, but we will get that in there, and then we'll show you guys what it looks like finished. So that's how you separate the two. The zip tie that it comes with does go on this side. Obviously, this one, the driver side, will go under that. So, all right guys, let's get this car put together. We'll be back in a minute. All right guys, we got the driver side in. You'll see how it sits right on top of the strut cover there. There's the other side. It does sit right over the mag ride control, nice and flush along the back. This is that one little Christmas tree plug you gotta take out. It's super tight between back here and where the mag ride connection is, so you probably don't have to do anything else. What I did, guys, you know, I've seen a lot of videos where everyone is putting the strut cover on top of this. So I went one step further, moved this out of the way a little bit, and then I put it under it. So what I'm hoping is with it under it, it will seal a little bit better. And if the water does run onto this, off of this, it actually stays, it's really hard to see, but it'll actually stay out of it completely. So let's get the side button back up. And we'll get the passenger side going. All right, guys, here we go. So believe it or not, I've watched 30 or 40 videos of doing this. And every single one, it looked like this was the nightmare side. And honestly, it took me about 20 seconds. So I'm going to kind of show you how I did it. So first, I, I, I didn't take this off for, for one. I didn't have to move anything. So first step is I took the cover. I slid it into the back, rested it right up against the back here. Then what I did is kind of concave bend it, get it under the cap. Then what I did is I angled it this way, kind of slid it down into this little crevice right here, which enabled me, it's hard to see, but to get under this reservoir. Then all I did was pull it back up and it snapped right into place. So you could clearly see, there's your, your front lift, here's your, I mean your Magna ride, cable's perfect. It's completely secure right over the back of it. You got the nice little overlay. So like I was saying earlier, I did move this little rubber uh, grommet from over here uh, a little bit over. I'm going to move it a little bit more so I put the zip tie around it so the zip tie is not on this. But guys, that was actually really easy to do. So again, guys, chstruckcovers.com. There it is, chstruckcovers.com. Thank you for an American-made product that actually worked exactly how it was supposed to. There's your driver's side over there, looks perfect. There's your passenger side over here, looks perfect. And guys, this was super easy to do, and it will prevent water from getting into your struts and rusting out the nuts that hold the, the bolts in. So, all right guys, we're gonna finagle this get this side wrapped up we'll do a conclusion video we'll see you in a few minutes all right guys this is the wrap up there it is that side's done you can see it covers it completely looks good that is your obviously your windshield washer fluid your brake fluid your battery that's the air intake for the air filter for the cabin air filter that's how you change it right there nice and easy again that is your front lift reservoir and you see what I'm saying guys I moved that little it's hard to see but there's the rubber grommet I didn't make it super super tight just tight enough to hold it down and just like the driver side 
it's cut in there perfect all right guys that'll wrap up the install of the c8 front strut covers from chstrutcovers.com like i said i will put that link in the description and we'll wrap the car up and we'll give you a quick overview of when it's put back together we'll see you in a minute right, guys vic t and vix vlog here we go we are done got the car put back together inside there's your strut covers i guess GM could have just found a way to make the water run down this way and out, put a hole over here or something, and then it could have probably avoided that whole mess. But there's your covers all put back together. She is completely done. If you guys enjoyed this video, please smack that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss more mods like this. We hope you have an amazing day, and we'll catch you on the next video.